Hello, for today's video, I will be discussing connective tissue grafting and the techniques that we use in periodontics to safely and comfortably fix gingival recession around teeth and implants. What is gingival recession and how does it occur? Gingival recession is when your gums slowly disappear around the tooth due to chronic inflammation. The causes of gingival recession are typically heavy tooth brushing, previous orthodontic treatment, thin tissue that you are born with, or patients that have a past history of periodontal disease and chronic bone loss around those teeth. Some patients are born with thin tissue and some patients are born with thick tissue. This is commonly referred to by periodontists as thin and thick tissue phenotype. This means that if you were born with thin gums, you're more likely to have gingival recession over the course of your life. For those who have thick tissue, you may never worry about gingival recession unless you begin brushing too hard. What are your options to treat gingival recession? When treating gingival recession, there are several different materials and techniques to fix gingival recession. Traditionally, gingival recession has been treated with your own tissue taken from the top of your mouth. The donor tissue is then placed over the recipient bed of the tooth that needs tissue augmentation. This procedure has been in dentistry for over 50 years and is well documented by periodontists. For this reason, it is considered the gold standard. However, the largest disadvantage is that you are taking a piece of tissue from the top of your mouth, which is now a secondary surgical site. As you can imagine, many patients do not want to use tissue from the top of their mouth. It is fearful to them, and the idea of a second surgical site is gonna be more discomfort for the patient. For this reason, I prefer to not take tissue from the mouth unless it's absolutely necessary. Cases that typically require tissue from the top of your mouth is when you don't have enough tissue around the tooth. And I find this in patients that have foregone treatment for several years. Unfortunately, when there's not enough tissue to work with, we have to grab tissue from the top of your mouth. As an alternative to harvesting tissue from the top of a patient's mouth, I'm a proud provider of BioHorizons Alloderm. This acellular dermal matrix has been in dentistry for over 20 years, and it is well studied that it has actually been a great substitute to autogenous connective tissue taken from the top of your mouth. Why do I like to use Alloderm? Alloderm in itself is a product that's been in dentistry for over 20 years. In comparison to other products that I've used, I've had the most predictable results and patients have loved the final result. When using Alloderm, you're able to treat multiple teeth at one time. In comparison, if we use tissue from the top of your mouth, we have a limited supply of tissue, which typically treats one to three teeth predictably. For this reason, I like to recommend Alloderm because we can treat up to 12 teeth at one time. Many of my patients enjoy getting the top and bottom completed with just a few months apart. This is significantly different in comparison to using your own tissue. Another great advantage of Alloderm is we are able to increase the tissue thickness along several teeth. When using Alloderm, many patients note that the discomfort is much less than if they had tissue taken from the top of their mouth. I've had the pleasure of helping patients through both types of procedures and areas where recession was severe and also mild. It is very important to work with a periodontist as soon as you have any signs of recession. Recession is much easier to treat when it is mild to moderate than when it is severe. For this reason, I am unable to use Alloderm if your recession becomes too severe. When you schedule a consultation with me, we will take pictures with the camera of your teeth, your smile, and with your cheeks pulled back to show all the gingival recession in your mouth. On these photos, we'll discuss what recession might be visible in your smile, 
recession that we can monitor for the time being, and then recession that might be best to be proactive and augment that area with connective tissue grafting. As I mentioned before, if we catch recession when it's mild to moderate, we can use alloderm and be as conservative as possible. If the recession is more severe, we'll discuss if I do think you'd benefit from autogenous grafting from the roof of your mouth. What can you expect the day of the surgery? During our consultation, we'll discuss ways that we can make sure you are as comfortable as possible. My primary goal is to make sure that you are safe and comfortable throughout the entire procedure. During our consultation, we can review options that include oral sedation with a single tablet that you swallow in the chair. We also have a dental anesthesiologist that can do IV sedation and make sure that you're less aware of the procedure. If you know that you prefer one technique over another, please mention this during our consultation. When doing the actual procedure, we will use as much local anesthesia as possible to make sure that you are numb and comfortable throughout the entire procedure. The procedure typically takes 60 minutes to two hours, depending on the number of teeth that we're treating. Regardless of the choice of anesthesia that you choose, our goal is to make sure you are as comfortable as possible, and if there's anything you need throughout the procedure, please let us know. When using Alloderm, we use plastic surgery instruments and sutures that help hold the graft in place. When using Alloderm, it's important that the sutures stay in place for at least two weeks, and sometimes I'll keep the sutures in for up to a month and a half. After the completion of your surgery, plan on having one to three follow-ups in the office so that we can look at how the gums are healing and decide when it's best to take out the stitches. What can you expect in your recovery following the procedure? Typically, patients may notice some minor bleeding the day of the procedure, which stops within the first 24 hours. For this reason, we ask you not to do any mouth rinse until the next day. The next two to three days, you may notice some swelling. For patients that also bruise easily, you may notice a little slight bruising around the face that eventually disappears after the first week. In an attempt to minimize swelling, I use a combination of low-dose steroids, antibiotics, and also prescription-strength Tylenol and ibuprofen. Studies have shown that when you use ibuprofen and Tylenol together, they are more effective than opioids, which make you nauseous and sometimes hinder your ability to work through the day. All of my patients appreciate the opportunity to return to work in a normal time, but I do encourage patients to take two to three days after the procedure to recover and make sure they feel better before going back to work. Please call us at Affinity Dental today to schedule your periodontal consultation. I look forward to meeting you and discussing ways that we can make your gum grafting comfortable.